Hi, hello friends. I am back with another video and Zach is here. Also, if you cannot tell, Zach had injured himself in soccer. So he is on crutches for the time being. I he, can't walk. He hyperextended his leg and sprained the tendons. Dude kicked my leg and it bent the wrong way. But if you cannot tell from the title, this is going to be my monthly TBR for Nevo November. <laughs> November. And these books are what I am hoping to get to. And then I'm also hoping to get to others for the Tome Topple Readathon. I don't know yet. I want to participate in it but I, I don't know, we will see. So I'm gonna start off with books that I have to read for my one class. So I'm holding up two books. One of these is going to get read. I don't know which one it is, but we will figure it out. So we have Second in Command, Strengthening Leaders Who Serve Leaders by Dutch Sheets and Chris Jackson. Um, I have to read this for my staff pastor class, I believe. I don't know if it's, this book that I have to read, or if it's this book, The Peacemaker, A Biblical Guide to Resolving Personal Conflict by Ken Sandy. I kind of hope it's this one because I kind of need this in my life at the current moment with work, but I think it's this one because I heard some kids in my class complaining about the page length and they were like, oh yeah, it's like almost 300 pages and this is like the only book out of like these two that's almost 300 pages. So we will see. So now on to the books that I actually want to read and like don't have to read. So I have a total of six books here. So I'm hoping to get to these this month. I am currently reading two books at the moment and I will show you those. I am still trying to get through The Crystal Cave by Mary Stewart. I am on page 127 of this out of like 400 something pages and I'm really hoping to finish this this month because I just... I've been working on this for like the last four months or so, so. Then I got this the other day and I started it today and it's called Christianity. It's like this and it's basically, it says an uncomplicated look of what it means to be a Christ follower. And this is by David R. Smith and I'm excited to read this because even though I have been a Christ follower for a while now and I know what it's like, I want to see what they say in here and how they phrase things and stuff like that and also they have like conversation points and I always tell Zach I want to like talk more about Jesus in the Bible and stuff like that so I can use this and we can have some deep theological conversations like we did the other night. When you have one Lutheran and then one Assemblies of God person you kind of disagree on some things but you know. So next we have Life As We Knew It by Susan Beth Pfeffer and this was on my TBR like uh, like a month or so ago I don't even know but it's basically a book about this like this family who is going through like the apocalypse pretty much what I mean by this is the moon gets knocked closer to the earth and so everything goes haywire and their world is slowly crumbling around them and this is part of a trilogy when I first read this in like eighth grade I didn't know it was part of a trilogy and so I'm excited to get back into it because I remember really loving this. Next is another book that I had on my TBR, like, for however many months, is The Golden Compass by Philip Pullman. This is the first book in his Dark Materials. I think this is also a trilogy. This is a book about a girl named Lyra, and she has this, like, demon polar bear thing, and she is at, like, this university where like scholars are and she like lives there and then her uncle comes and then she finds out that life is more horrible than it actually is. It's not the actual synopsis, kind of along the lines of, lines of the synopsis, but I also read this back in like eighth grade. I watched the movie by like buying it on Comcast and I didn't tell my mom so I spent like seven dollars to watch the movie and I remember my dad had like just finished reading it and was like oh my gosh I really want to watch the movie and I was like ha 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 I watched the movie and I kind of want to know if I will like this just as much as I did back then and also to see what the rest of the series is like because apparently in 8th grade I didn't know what series were and I kind of just read the first books of everything. One that I'm really excited about and has been getting a lot of hype on booktube for a bit is Jacoby by William Ritter. It's basically about a guy who can see like the supernatural and like the undead and so there's this murder going around and they're trying to track it but Jacoby thinks that it is somebody who is dead and not living and so Abigail who is his helper has to help him try and figure out who the killer is. And then the last book which should be a very fast read 
despite the size because it's majority pictures. That is The Marvels by Brian Selznick. If you guys didn't know, Brian Selznick writes a mixture of a picture book and a novel combined in one and it tells a story via pictures and wording. And I have loved every novel from Brian Selznick so far and the graphics in this are just so pretty. Like it is so detailed. And I am really excited to read this because I've been waiting for my library to have it for the longest time and they finally had it. So those are all the books that I plan on reading in the month of November. Hopefully, if I decide to do the Chum Top or Readathon, I will be posting another TBR for that. Oh, <coughs> gosh. Just Don't specifically die. for that. So yes. So... These are the books that I would like to get to in the month of November. Hopefully I can get through these and hopefully I can break out my reading slump and hopefully I can just be a more productive human being in general. But if you like this video, please give it a huge thumbs up and hit that red button down below to be subscribed to my channel and notified whenever I post any more new videos. You should leave in the comments down below what books you plan on reading in November or if you have read any of these or have any thoughts and opinions of them. I will see you guys in the next video. Goodbye!